Hey guys, this is Martin from Bug Bounty Service and today I'm showing you another vulnerability around cores. So cross-origin resource sharing, um, which is basically a way modern web applications use quite heavily in order to facilitate cross-domain functionality. So there's a lot of API calls these days and you know, application A needs to access application B and so forth. And um, by default, there's something called the same origin policy, SOP, and that prevents basically these cross-domain interactions, but cores is a way to loosen it. And um, it is a good thing. It makes sense in modern web applications because there's a lot of interaction between different services, especially thinking of microservice architectures and things like that. But it can go horribly wrong if misconfigured. And today I'm going to show you one of those typical misconfigurations. So if we go to the main page here, we basically um, get an auth token, right? Like, so this is, this could be an authenticated function. Say this is like an authenticated function or something and within a user portal and then there's like an auth token. So let's take a look at this, at this request and send it to repeater to play with it. And effectively, you, if you launch the request, you basically see auth token, right? Um, let's take a note of the domain. It's called bugbountytraining.com. Let's copy this out. And then we basically go over to Burp and we add another header called the origin header. And we put in bugbountytraining.com, right? And it says like access control, allow origin and allow credentials true, right? So this is expected because this is basically the website um, which I'm on right now. But is this filter, so here's it, the problem in this particular vulnerability is this filter might not be um, as accurate as possible. So maybe it's only looking for the bugbountytraining.com within um, the origin, right? So maybe it's not doing like an exact uh, match on, on that domain. So what happens, for example, if I add .martinvolk.com, right? So this now basically this one becomes a subdomain, so to speak, of martinvolk.com, right? Which is a complete other domain. And I hit send and you will see that the um, access control allow origin also allows that. So this is a vulnerability. This is a serious vulnerability. And for the, for the reason, it's just checking whether this string is actually present in the request, right? But it does not check whether it ends in it or where in the string it's located. So a, a, a malicious attacker could now host something like this uh, on their own server and effectively, um, so this is, this is my own server, right? And, and a malicious attacker could now host this as a subdomain and then launch that Ajax request from that specific box and it would allow this. So the course policy would, would allow this to happen because the filter is misconfigured. I, I, I hope everyone understands this so far. Um, let's go back here to the browser. So I have written a little script which isn't a normal HTML. So it's, it's basically plain HTML and then it's a JavaScript tag over here. Within that, I'm launching an Ajax request page basically. So I'm, I'm not going through this line by line. You can read this up on Google. But what it effectively does, it sends like an, an HTTP GET request to this particular challenge URL, which normally, or this is what the developers intended, that this request shall come only from bugbountytraining.com, from this domain, right? But what happens now if I host, if I host this on my malicious server and specify this as a subdomain? And this is exactly what I've done. And I come over here and I've hosted this on my main server and I basically specified this here as a subdomain. And if I refresh this, what's gonna happen is I get the data leak. So I get the data leak on my server. So my server is now getting the auth token, which is only supposed to be queried from bugbountytraining.com domain or from that domain, but not from a subdomain, which is also called, called bugbountytraining.com, if that makes sense. Let's just head over to Burp, real quick look at this request, what was done. So here was the course request, 
basically, so um, it says not modified because I've tried it before, before the video. And then you basically see after that, a get request is being launched. And here you can clearly see the referrer. So the referrer, I'm clearly coming from my server. The origin is clearly coming from my server, right? But the filter is misconfigured. It accepts it because um, it has the full real domain name in there even though it's configured as a subdomain on my server and I'm able to leak out the authentication token. That's a classic course vulnerability and you find this in the wild quite a lot actually. Um, I hope this makes sense and I look forward to see you in one of my next videos.